What up, what up, what up, what up, what up? It's your boy Crick D. And this story coming to you out of Georgia, y'all. Before I tell you this story, I could just think back when I was 15 or 16 years old, the last thing I was doing was trying to run up on somebody and rob them. They say in Georgia, three teens ran up on the guy at 4 o'clock in the morning. First of all, at 4 o'clock in the morning, you should have had your ass at school, hungry, and ready to go to school the next day. I think what I did at 15, 16 years old, one at 4 o'clock, but I did try to end up and get a nickel bag of bud with my friends and did. But this just don't make no sense. It's 3 o'clock in the morning, 4 o'clock in the morning, the man at home, they say he was a truck driver, getting ready to go do his thing, you know, at his own house, and two 16-year-old and a 15-year-old boy, names ain't been released, the chef office told ABC News, that they ran up from Cornia, Cornia Georgia, and they ran up on the people at his own house, and they said it's impossible to stand your ground. How can it be possible to stand your ground? They said one of the boys, one of the young boys pulled out a gun and started shooting. And the homeowner pulled out his automatic and lit his ass up. What he should have done, you dig? That's what I would have did. I'm at home in my yard, coming home from work. Regardless of what I'm doing, I will pay rent there so I can do what I want to do there. And then you got these little stupid ass kids. I don't know what kind of drugs these kids are on nowadays. They smoking some serious drugs, shooting up some, I don't know what's going on with the world nowadays, but it wasn't like this when I was a kid. What y'all think? 15, 16-year-old kids outside at 4 o'clock in the morning trying to rob somebody. I know your parents should have been worried. Now, this is a lose-lose situation. Three kids, parents, three parents that lost their kids, three sets of parents that lost their kids. This man had to kill these kids. You got to live with that stuff. You can't just kill somebody and think it's going to go away like that. It don't. But you got to protect your home. I'm going to let y'all check out a little bit of this news clipping. But I just want to know what y'all think about it. Think back to the old school days when I was 15 years old, 16. Like I said, I tried to go 250 on a little nickel bag of bud back then. You know, smoke my little stuff and go to the basement party. The last thing was on my mind was uh go and rob somebody or try to stick somebody up and all that. It's these drugs, y'all, and that devil. That devil working full time out here. I'm telling y'all, you better, uh, and you can't blame the parents because I know some good parents got some bad kids out here. These kids don't listen because you can't tear their ass up. Like we were, we were little, we got, I got my ass toe up if I did something wrong or bad or try to be beastiest and all that stuff. But like I said, y'all, I'm going to let y'all check out a little news clipping of this. This came out of Georgia. They said a man was a truck driver. Looked like a nice neighborhood. And the neighbor said he heard some gunshots like a little handgun. And next thing you know, he heard some Bang! God don't like ugly. Y'all kids, if you, you looking at this video, you better listen. A, a disobedient child will live half his day. That 15 to 16, that ain't even half your time. Because life expectancy by God is 125 years. You've been caught shot. You only got about 10% of the expected lifetime. But out here using these drugs and trying to kill folks and all that. Let me check, let y'all check out this news snippet, and I'll be right back, you did. Two guns, the sheriff told me the three young men shot were all wearing masks. Deputies found them outside the home, one lying near the edge of a driveway and the other two up the road a bit after the homeowner called 911 for help. We saw one of their shoes in a yard. The sheriff says the homeowner was outside around 4 this morning when the violence happened. Probably mind his own business. the gunfire and ran out to help. It was five shots, and then it sounded like a handgun. The boys. Then I heard somebody have an assault rifle, and it was a slew of shots that came out. Deputies say what he's supposed to do? Protect his home. Found they're still looking into that. This is video we got shortly after the shooting when deputies had the neighborhood blocked off. Investigators say three people were at the home, including a woman, when the shooting happened. The homeowner who shot is a man. Neighbors They're say not a truck him. driver who owns a semi-automatic rifle and is highly protective of his mother. I don't blame this point, you. Got to take moms and the home. Could be a stand your ground case involving an attempted home invasion. Now, I don't understand. They said it's a possible. It's a possible stand your ground case. See that? Possible. You at home, in your yard, mind your business, regardless of what you're doing, what you pay your rent or pay your mortgage or whatever you're doing there, you did, you there, and you got these little stupid kids coming up here trying to rob you and take your property. You supposed to do it there. I would have lit the ass up, robbery. too. We asked I feel bad for their parents, but uh, the God don't like ugly. That's all I can say. Still trying to identify them.
And look, they don't even know. Where your, where your mama at? Boy, your, we're pretty your pretty mama should know you ain't at home. Somebody should know you ain't at home. That's all I'm talking about. They can't even find the parents. I can't fault the parents, but they, if, I, if my kid was missing overnight, I'm be, if my kid missing past 9, 30, 10 o'clock, I'm going to look come looking for you. If I wake up and you ain't in that house, boy, it's gonna, all hell going to break loose. But if you wake up and your kid ain't in that house, do you really care? I mean, if probably your kid dead and you don't even know about it yet. It's your boy, Crick D. Y'all leave that thing in that box below. You know how we do it around here at Booger Time, Booger Time News. I got the news. I got the, the truth. I got everything for y'all around here. It's your boy, Crick D in the building. You already know how I do it. Psh, smash that bell. Hit, give me a thumbs up. And I'm gone.